Okay, so I didn't want to do this video because uh, it's a very negative video, but uh, like we can tell that this game is going downhill. It is at an all time peak low in terms of playing it, the replayability, all of that. Now the core gameplay itself is good. I feel like we're in the best meta and it's in the best state gameplay wise besides, you know, possible bugs and all of that. But I just want to talk about it. So in today's video, I'll be just breaking down uh, my thought process in terms of Rainbow Six Siege, its current state, and how I think that the developers and Ubisoft itself can better the game and fix the problems and hopefully get it back on uphill trend. Um, if you guys are interested in watching this video and listening and even giving me some comments and thoughts on how the game can become better, drop it down below in the comments and please like the video uh, so someone at Ubisoft maybe sees this video. I honestly am just frustrated with the game and I need to just talk about it. Now, for the time being, I will be posting on my second channel, which is Garfield is Variety. So if you've been not enjoying Siege, please go check that out. Uh, link will be down in the description. I will be playing like old ass games and maybe apex battlefield etc be really cool if you check that out let's get right into the video okay so let's talk about the core gameplay issues of siege let's talk about the number one problems which is the cheaters uh whether that's on console or pc mainly pc is affecting me uh, I this this season has been the worst in terms of cheaters the first week of North Star I actually really enjoyed the game It was really goddamn fun like there was no cheaters and I had tons and tons of tons and fun and After that it's just been cheater central wherever I go uh, I streamed on Wednesday, which was yesterday. You're watching this on a Thursday uh, I streamed two day two games and the first game I got closet cheaters young ass closet cheater some kids and in the second game i got another closet cheater i want to match replay and watch the first game which was on skyscraper you'll probably see that full game which will be friday's video it will be a solo queue video this game is literally unplayable in plat 3 elo and up and that is very sad to say every game on my main account which is plat 1 it was almost diamond i'm facing cheaters closet cheaters blatant cheaters doesn't matter cheaters all around and the sad thing in my main issue is the lack of communication with Ubisoft towards its creators. I'm probably going to get blacklisted if I'm already not, but like my criticism is very valid. I'm very frustrated with the game. I love Siege and I love what they made, but I feel like the execution is a huge issue. Now, in terms of talking about console, I know a lot of you guys are console players. You're probably going to say MNK on console is a huge issue. Third party devices like Zim using MNK on console. That is not Ubisoft's fault. That is not their issue. You have to realize they have to go to Microsoft and Sony and get them to deal with um, deal with that. That has nothing to do with Ubisoft. People use MK and Zim on other games to gain an advantage. So sadly, that is not something Ubisoft can really identify and do something about from my knowledge. Don't get me wrong. A lot of these things, I am ignorant. I am just a consumer and streamer and content creator for this game. But that is not Ubisoft's issue from my knowledge. The only thing they, they might be able to do, deal with is Dossers. I heard Dossers is very bad on console, especially in higher ELO. People literally just boot servers and boot people out of uh, the game so they get an advantage and gain ELO. Next, uh, I want to talk about the toxic community, which every community is going to have toxicity and have complete weirdos in the community. Every game has it. But I've never seen a game have such bad chat filtering. I literally had somebody tell me that they hope I get swatted and shot in the neck in all chat. I've had people call me the hard R. They've had people make fun of my mental illness. I've had all of this. And when you report somebody, what happens? They get banned for toxicity. And then what happens? Like the person that said they hope I get shot in the neck and, and die. Uh, I, I tweeted about it on Twitter and I had a Ubisoft dev re reply and say that they got a seven day ban. I'm not going to lie. Somebody saying that in all chat, in my personal opinion, saying that severe level of stuff, I think they should be at least a 30 day ban or banned. But I feel like the toxicity is the smallest thing in the in, in Siege's problem, even though the entire community is just toxic for some reason, no matter what. Especially if you're a female that plays this game, you can't even talk in all chat or just talk in voice chat without getting harassed. It's absolutely insane. What I think Ubisoft should do now is to, to try to go forward and, you know, keep the game alive and at least see uphill trend is one, we are lacking content. Even though, let's, let's, let's say that there is no cheaters and all of that. The casual community is having a hard time playing this game 
because of one this game is too hard to grasp you have to spend too much hours and time to understand the game and the resources that they have is not good for example if you load up rainbow six siege right now and you go into the training grounds you know what you you get you get to shoot some bots that's it if you're trying to learn an operator you can't you know what you have you have situations which is just shooting bots that's supposed to be our story mode and in my opinion i feel like it's very lazy we're six years into the game with i think 50 something operators or more this game is too hard to grasp and to understand every single operator if you go into situations or training the only thing you get is reinforcing barricading and hatches that is a huge issue because you have new players now that go into games and they just reinforce sight off completely and for the people that solo queue this game's not enjoyable because you have nobody to teach you the game. You don't. If you don't have any friends that play the game, you're screwed. There's no point in playing the game. So Ubisoft needs to implement some type of how-tos into the game for every single operator. So you can actually learn and, and understand what all, every operator does. Every, their flaws, their negatives, all of that. What they actually do. Like, in terms of learning an operator if you compare it to a game like apex you can go into a firing tr training grounds little area and you can actually see what your ability does now i understand siege is a little bit different because you have utility based utility if that makes sense you have to place an a ads down and then have somebody throw utility at it you would have to go into custom games but like with siege you would actually need a friend to teach you that and of course, you have a lot of content creators like me and a bunch of other, you know, people that do videos and how to's. But I feel like it would just be a lot easier for the casual person that just got the game or is free to play. It would be a lot easier to have a how to inside the game. And the next issue is honestly like ELO. The game is not based on skill. It's based on winning and losing. You have people that boost to certain ranks. You get people that get blessed off 10 placements. I had a solo queue game the other day where uh, I was in plat three to plat two elo. I understand it started the season, but this kid was brand spanking new at the game. He was dead ass new. He was plat three and he's getting streamed up by this French guy on our team because he reinforced the wrong thing. And the kid was so nice and he was so young and he's like, bro, I'm new to the game. Like, I, I don't really know what I'm doing. I felt bad for him. There's no resources for new players to learn. And we're too far into this game for a new player to pick it up and actually enjoy it. This game is amazing. But it just lacks the resources that's needed to evolve and keep players playing. We're also lacking content. Like I said, casual community is having a hard time playing this game because there's no grindable skins. There's no grindable anything besides a rank in the game. Ask yourself, what is what does other games have in terms of grindability that keeps them coming back? One, look at Fortnite. And I know a lot of people, uh, Courtney's cringe, uh, blah, 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 blah. People can literally grind a battle pass and grind skins. And then from there, their skins that they get from battle passes, they can actually grind it and get more tiers into the skins. It's little things like that. Keep players coming back and back and back. And sure, you might have competitive people that really like to just pub stomp kids and whatever. But there's also custom maps, for example. You can make your make your own like um, you can make your own like little areas and stuff. Siege, if they implement it, some type of situations, kind of like Rocket League, we can build your own situation where you can, uh, where you can basically face off and set up bots to interact in whatever way that you want. It would be really cool because then casual community can do this, and you can build situations and explain to newer players how to use thermite charges, how to use, um, how to bandit trick, like simple stuff like that is just quality of life things that we're missing in a game like Siege. This game is way too complex to just try to suck in new players by marketing it as a, as a free to play weekend, and and expect them to stick. It's not gonna happen. Now in terms of cheaters, I do not know anything about anti cheats. I do not. I'm completely ignorant. So it would be stupid of me to just sit here and be like, just get a better anti-cheat because it's not that simple. That costs money. And I understand the developers definitely probably want to improve the game, but they probably have higher ups that they have to deal with. And, you know, there's certain things they have to focus on first. I understand that. But why doesn't Ubisoft just get community leaders? They have something called Rainbow Six Siege Champions. Uh, if you go on Twitter and they send these people out uh, like, like gift bags and stuff every month and you know they tweet about it and it's cool and it's like a bunch of creators and stuff but they're not really doing anything they're supposed to be like leadership from my knowledge i'm i'm so confused what champions is but why don't we just get community leaders and you know those community leaders we can send them you know if someone's cheating or someone's doing something that's very inappropriate like in all chat being very toxic you can send it over to one of these community leaders and they send it up to a higher up dev 
literally create a new job just for that. And I know all this costs money, but at the end of the day, this game is on a decline. And like, I'm not gonna just sit here and be like, Siege is, is a fantastic game right now, and it's a fantastic state. You should come play. I literally can't create content for this game in stream because of the lack of resources that we have. We don't have a streamer mode, which I, I get it. We're on an old engine. Um, but it just sucks. Like, it sucks not being able to, you know, either one, I have to put a 60-second delay because this game is based on Intel. And and then I can't talk to my chat and, and interact with them as much as I want to, like, because, like, you know, I like doing that. Or I have to just have my uh, delay on, like, five seconds so I can interact with my chat and then I get stream sniped. And then the game's not fun. There's not enough casual, like, content for me to not play ranked. So, like, I, I, I don't know, man. I think Siege is definitely in a very weird area right now. I feel like the lack of content is definitely pushing a lot of players away. We're getting a one operator season with like a reworked map. And I understand the quality of life type of things um, like reworking maps. But for a lot of the core players, they're, they're stepping away because they feel like the game's stale. I personally just love Siege for the competitive aspect of it. You're always learning new things, new angles, all of that. And that's just me. And, you know, that's cool. But there's a lot of players that just play the game because they just enjoy the premise of it but they don't take it too seriously and we're not giving them enough content so overall like if siege 2 were to come out and they started developing it that would be cool but i i doubt that's going to happen hopefully i'm wrong and i just want to see ubisoft just be a little bit more transparent with us and try to help and work with the community so we can make this game better and actually playable because i don't want this game to die and i'm willing to bet there's thousands of people that don't want to see this game die like this, I, there's a reason why I made this my main game to content create. And it's honestly really hard to do at this point in time. So if anybody from Ubisoft is watching this video, uh, I, I really hope you guys like start being transparent with us because it's very frustrating uh, to deal with like the stuff that we deal with as a content creator, players, all of that. Overall, I, I would like Ubisoft to see this and, you know, uh, kind of wake up or i'd like to just for them to be more transparent because to be honest i'm frustrated the community's frustrated and i i don't know man it sucks but yeah if you guys enjoy the video uh please like comment and if you want to share it that's amazing uh interact with this as much as possible let me know your thoughts and opinions on this video what do you think siege is lacking in and why do you think this game is stale or you're not playing it let me know